actually sitting on a boardwalk that goes through a wetland here at Lydic Bog Nature Preserve in South Bend, Indiana. It's a property that is owned and managed by Shirley Hines Land Trust that operates in about six counties in Northwest Indiana. And this is a tale of two loose strifes. This one that I'm sitting next to that is pretty much almost done flowering on this stalk is purple loose strife. And when the stewardship team from Shirley Hines Land Trust finds this, they are gonna yank it out because it's an invasive species. It's actually originally from Asia and Europe and it was likely brought to the United States probably in the mid to late 1800s, probably in ship cargo, maybe the seeds or plant parts somehow got into the cargo. It first was found in the United States around Lake Ontario. Now, it is a beautiful plant when it's in full flower. It has pretty pink purple flowers and it has an upright growth form. The stem is kind of interesting. It's ridged, uh, four-sided, or sometimes it even feels like it's six-sided if you look at it up closely. The problem is when purple loose strife gets into a wetland, it can pretty much take over. And the trick for purple loose strife is that it can produce so many seeds. Some estimates are as high as about 2 million seeds per plant, and they can lay dormant in the wet soil for or five years. So that makes the plant really hard to eliminate, and you just have to keep after it to yank it out. It even was sold in garden nurseries because of its pretty color, but most states have banned its sale and propagation because of its invasive properties. On the other hand, on the other side of the boardwalk, there's another loose strife that's a good guy. Let's take a look. So this shrub behind me is swamp loose strife, and it has a lot of similarities to purple loose strife. The flowers are almost the same color, and if you look closely, it has a ridged stem like purple loose strife. I think the petals are a little bit more frilly if you look at those up close. But this one is native and the growth pattern is really different from purple loose stripe. Purple loose stripe is pretty much an upright, multi-branched, multi-branched, multi-stemmed plant. And the swamp loose strife is a shrub as well, but it has arching stems. Both of them grow in wet soil or wetlands, just like the one found here at Lydic Bog Nature Preserve. It's just that one is kind of a bad guy, and one, the swamp loose strife, is a good guy. If you're out in a wetland, look close at the bright pink purple flowers and see if you can determine if it's purple loose strife or swamp loose strife. Remember, you can find your own outdoor elements when you visit area parks and natural areas. We'll see you soon.